All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Dan, 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 Dean Bodie Show. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Happy Tuesday, and hope you're having a great day today. We are over here, at Dean Bodie, and let's get it kicked off with Who's the Good Girl? Good Girl Bodie, good, good girl, good girl Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah, DeanBodie.com. 800-878-9698 It's the Bodie Hotline Fun Line Call the Bodie Line Hey, she's waiting for you to call Say something nice to Bodie We'll make it a feature on the show DeanBodie.com is the website We got the links on there Want to get you over to the podcast Want to get you over to the YouTube channel Apple, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts And the YouTube channel D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I Space Show YouTube channel Man, let me tell you I'm walking around the neighborhood today And first off, I'd like to say I got my dad's watch fixed Oh, I brought it to the uh, estate jeweler. It's a watch from the 1950s. Those of you that have been listening, you know, my father passed when I was about three and a half years old. So it's a, not only a family heirloom, but it's very special, beautiful piece that I wanted to get all dialed in and back to its pristine condition. This guy did a great job on it and uh, really tapped into a spiritual part and a connection with my father just way more than I ever thought it was going to. I mean, when I first brought it there after waiting a long time to get it fixed, um, and I talked about this on a previous episode, it was uh, the Jewish holiday Yom Kippur. They were closed. And, um, you know, I was speaking to my mom about it. She's like, well, if they're closed on Yom Kippur, that's the right guy to fix it. (laughs) Okay. So then I went there the following day and uh, they were open And the guy's birthday happened to be on Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. And all of these connections were, it was just kind of wild. And, you know, I'm not a real religious person, but all of this kind of connections with the holidays and all of that was really getting dialed in, um, especially uh, with my father and being raised Jewish. And he's buried in a Jewish cemetery. And the whole thing is kind of flipping me out a little bit, really. So the watch is all dialed in. And it looks beautiful. And I wound it. And uh, as I put it to my ear and listened to the watch tick, it sounded so unbelievable. And it's just a reminder that my dad's heart is still beating. The candle is always lit for you, Dad. Your heart is still beating. And um, that watch is a reminder that uh, we're going to get through this. And you're always part of my life, the driving force that keeps me moving forward. Really, really awesome. This whole thing came full circle with me, and uh, it'll be something that can be passed down to generations to come. Now, they adjusted the band. They extended a little bit. It fits perfectly. Wow, wow, wow. Awesome. And uh, so a lot of cool things are happening today over here, man. And I got to tell you, Aside from that, and while I was over there, I decided to go and stop into Petco and get Bodie some of her, she likes these special bully sticks and stock up a little bit on the fresh pet food while I was there. Walked into the GNC. Sometimes I like to go in there and just grab one of those cold, pure protein, berry flavored pure protein, cold out of the fridge drinks and an energy bar. And they were out of everything, man. They were not stocked up. Was not good. The one thing that I wanted, they didn't have. So I just said, okay, whatever. So got in, (laughs) got into the, called the Uber, got the Uber. And, uh, the guy was funny. The Uber driver today, he said something kind of very enlightening as we're talking about how's it going and what's happening with this. And, you know, we're wearing our masks and all this. So it's kind of obvious on where the conversation's kind of going to go sometimes. And he goes, it is what it is, and we got what we got. (laughs) It is what it is, we got what we got. Oh, yeah, is what it is, we got what we got. Come on, is what it is, we got what we got. As simple as that is, it is what it is, we got what we got, basically pretty much says it all. It's kind of like, hey, just deal with it. Live for today. We got to deal with it some way, and that's what's going on. So it is what it is, and we do got what we got, but make the best out of what we got, right? And uh, that was kind of cool, and we had an interesting conversation (laughs) about that whole thing. And uh, wow. So we're taking a walk around the neighborhood a little while ago, and Bodie's poopy. Hey, we had a little poopy, a couple episodes about the loose poopy Bodie had the other day, two days in a row. 
Today's was looking right on the money. She took her supplements yesterday. We give her a Glandex, which helps clean out the anal glands. And uh, it's got some pumpkin and probiotics in it. You keep it in the fridge. Little peanut butter chewies. Helps it looking good, man. And when you see it and you look at that poop, you want to see that mucus plug in there, you know she's dialed in. So, poopy looking good. And uh, we gave her the other supplements yesterday and she was a good girl and took them like she was supposed to. And I definitely noticed a difference, and uh, I think she does too. Anyway, that's cool. She ran into Jerry, the UPS guy, while we were walking around. Well, man, she liked it. (laughs) Right when she got done pooping, here comes the UPS truck. And I said, hold on a second, Bodie, because her ears, like, sparked up. Her tail started to wag. She saw him uh, two buildings down delivering packages. And I said, hold on, because with Bodie... I get the little towel out. We got to wipe her tushy a little bit, make sure she's all dialed. And you can't have her walking around with the residue. And we take care of Bodie. Hey, you wouldn't like it if you had to walk around with that around, right? So we get that done. She waited. And then I'm like, wow, who's that over there? She's like, oh. And she runs over, says hi to Jerry. And they had a little bit of a, um, you know, a hello and what's going on and a kind of a catch up. And Bodie gets all excited. Then this kid comes What I noticed was wild today, the school buses dropped off kids today. Looks like they're trying to get things back dialed in again. So the one kid comes around and says, can I pet your dog? And I said, of course she can. Bodhi loves to say hi to new friends. So Bodhi runs up to him. He's petting her how soft she is and wow, what kind of dog is it? And I told him a Shiba Inu. He goes, a Shiba what? I said, a Shiba Inu. He goes, a Shiba who? I said, a Shiba Inu. I said, and I always say this, I'm like, do you know what the Akita is? Most people know the Akita, a Japanese breed, but that's like a German shepherd size. Bodhi's in the same family, and it's the smallest one down the line and closest to the wolf, I told him. I said, Shiba Inu means small dog in Japanese. He goes, oh, wow, cool. And he got such a kick out of her. And those of you that don't know, the creamies, as they call Bodhi, they're the white ones with the beige stripe down the back, are kind of the atypical color and the more rare. Uh, usually they're brown and beige or brown and black. But And I gave him the whole once around thing. He was so fired up about Bodhi. And then the UPS Jerry comes driving by as the kid was leaving. And he says to the kid, that's the greatest dog in the neighborhood. All right. So Bodhi gets the big stamp of approval from the UPS guy. Let me tell you, the the warms my heart like you don't even know. So between that whole visitation thing and the whole vibe with Bodhi today, my dad's watch, the whole thing there, let me tell you how awesome it is, man. It's such a warm feeling, not just spiritually, but, you know, you got to keep that around you as much as possible as we're going through this kind of thing with the way the state of the world is. What a game changer it is for me. So I want to share that with you. And as we say here, we're coming at you daily, Dean Bodie, because life comes at you daily, not weekly and monthly. Bodie gives me the joy vitamin. I pass it along to you so you can pass it along to somebody else. Got it? That's how we do it. She's the good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Yeah, the good girl, Bodie. Yeah, the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodie.com. 800-878-9698. Bodie Hotline Fun Line. Call the Bodie line. Say something cool to Bodie on the fun line. We'll make it a feature on the show. Say your name where you're from. Got the links on there. Want to get you to the podcast. Want to get you over to the YouTube channel. Have some fun. Leave your email on there. As we're compiling our list, we want you to be part of our list. If you like what's going on over here, consider subscribing. Click the like. Ring the bell. You don't want to miss any of these shows. These are real shows. Click that notification bell so you get those reminders. And... Leave a nice five-star rating and review on the podcast if you have time, if you would, on any platform of your choice, wherever you get podcasts. All right. So listen, man, Eddie Van Halen died today. Oh, my gosh. Man, what a heartbreaker. What a bummer that is. And not to bring a somber thing, but that's just something that happened. He was battling cancer. Prayers from Dean Bodie going out to the entire Van Halen group. My gosh. The memories are unbelievable, Eddie. And uh, that first album is still stapled to my brain on a daily oh it's on the playlist pretty much every song you know um 
And uh, I posted something on Facebook today with the Eruption song on there. And I was not fortunate enough to see them live in concert. But man, have I worn out how many of those tapes that I wear out on the cassette. I mean, I played these songs (laughs) thousands of times. And uh, Feel Your Love Tonight is probably my favorite song from the group ever. Um, but they're all good. I just love the band. Eddie, rest in peace. And uh, prayers going out to your family. Really, really unbelievable special memories from that. Wow, before I get too choked up. So, listen, let's see what's going on, Dean Bodie Show. We don't want to shortchange anybody, Dean Bodie Show. Zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine coming our way. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Yada dee da, ba da, boo doo. Wow, listen, watching the Italian grandma making meatballs, oh man, so listen, too cool, so I'm watching a couple of these old Italian uh, grandma, there's another guy that I watch with their recipes on YouTube, it's so fun, because they do this authentic style, and they're making meatballs, and this lady has such a, a heavy accent, it was it's hysterical. You have to kind of really pay attention as she's putting it together. As she starts saying, "We get the two pounds of ground the de- de- and you put the be- de- 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 in the breadcrumb and you put it spicy in the garlic and you put it two egg per pound and the de- 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 And I'm like, "What?" So I had to play it back <laughs> to listen to it as I got my Italian decoder ring out and basically was saying two pounds of ground beef, one egg yolk per uh, egg per pound with the breadcrumbs and the garlic powder and the salt and pepper and the uh, uh, Parmigiana, uh, Reggiana, uh, 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 whatever cheese, um, put that in there. And what else did she put in there? Some, uh, some chopped up Italian parsley. Wow. And she made it. It wasn't, it was kind of simple, you know, and she put it all into a big bowl and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes to let all the flavors get into the meat. Then she started making the balls, you know, golf ball size, and they look absolutely gorgeous. So she did it and then she fried them up in a pan. Now that's what I was missing when I defrosted. I'm not even to compare. Listen, sorry, Omaha steaks. Yes, I defrost. I took your meatballs out and I made them, but didn't come close to, to the Italian grandma's recipe. So, but I know it needed to be brown. But when you bake them in the oven only, you don't really get that brown on there like she did in the skillet. Put the olive oil in. She put the yellow onion in there. She put the garlic in there with the oil and then fried the meatballs till they were brown. Then she plopped them in the sauce, just like I used to do when I was in high school working for Pier 441 and George Delgardio. We put the meatballs right in the sauce, and they bathe in the sauce, and they're all super happy, hanging out in the sauce bath. Wow. So she made some awesome meatballs. I get a kick out of watching those and that authenticity um, when they're bringing the recipes old school. And I just love doing that. And one day I'm going to make them like she does, or next time when I bake the Omaha steak one, I can pull them out a little early and then put those in a pan with the olive oil, the onion, and the garlic and let them brown. And then we drop them in the sauce. That's how we're going to do it next time. Hey, Millie. Yeah. You hear what he said about the grandma and the Italian grandma making the meatballs? We're going to try that. Oh, yeah, that sounds delicious. You're definitely going to fry them up. It's better when you fry them up. So, that being said... I'm so touched by the watch today with my dad and the heartbeat is going now that's ticking in my ear, the watch. I'm so thrilled about the whole thing that, uh, you know, I don't even know how to, how to put it in words, you know? These little things is what life is all about. Cherish the little valuables you have in your family. Hey, there's a homework assignment for you guys today. Go see what you got laying around. Maybe you need to go get it polished up and shined up over at the estate jeweler and get it all dialed in. So when you pass it along to somebody else, it's going to be in pristine condition. You're not going to see or find these things ever again. You know? Wow. So that's how we're going to do it. Let's make it a great rest of the week. And um, I was, there's one more thing on here I was noticing that I wanted to do. And, uh, wow. Oh, yeah. The gathering of angels appear above my head. Sang to me this song of hope. 
And this is what they said. They said, come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me, yeah. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me, yeah. A little stick sing-along as the angels are up there. And Dad, you're my angel. I have an angel looking over me, and I call him Dad. Have an awesome rest of your day. Let's make this week an awesome week. DeanBody.com, oh yeah.